So the Louis Vuitton Neverfull tote, one of Louis Vuitton's most popular bags and one of their classic pieces. It's been around for so many years, a lot of people love it, but a lot of people also hate it for the fact that it is so popular and when you walk out the street, you'll definitely see another person carrying the same bag. But honestly for me, I do not care as long as it serves its function and it gets the job done, I love it. I actually was one of the people before who didn't understand the hype around this bag because every everybody just loves it. I, I was turning 25 and I wanted something more mature compared to all my other small structured bags, so I went for a tote. And the Louis Vuitton Neverfull tote was one of my top choices because I've heard a lot of good things about it because of the fact that it li literally is never full. You can fill it with your whole kitchen sink and it is very lightweight because it is that canvas material. So the Louis Vuitton Neverfull tote used to be available in epi leather and then canvas is one of their classics. You will always find it in canvas. And then you have the Ampreant leather which is fairly new. I think it released around 2021 I believe. So I opted for the canvas material in the MM size. Canvas and the Mir Azure. I love the Mir Azure because it's subtle. It's not like the monogram with it, wherein it has LV, LV, LV but it's still like a classic Louis Vuitton print. I actually have this same print in the Speedy Bandolier which is one of my first designer pieces and I was completely in love with that bag. That's why when I turned 25, it's kind of like a milestone birthday for me. I opted for this never full tote. I wasn't actually planning on getting this tote right away. It was March of 2020. My friend Kirsten and I went to a food and wine festival in downtown and we were planning on getting matching key pouches and they were out of stock. And then we just asked if they had a never full. And lo and behold, they had two left in the May Azure with the cream lining. So we went for it. So whenever I carry my 15-inch laptop in this tote, I make sure that I take it out and not keep it there the entire day because I want to preserve the shape of the bag. The reason why I love this bag is because I can use it for work, like I said, for travel as well. And of course, as an overnight bag for the weekend. So there's a lot of functionality when it comes to the Neverfull tote, which is why I understand like the hype around it. Like I said, a lot of people hate it because it's so common there's a lot of other to totes in the market that are not as common but serves the same function but for me i think this is perfect i love the demi azure print i love the little vachetta right here and i love how it looks as it ages this is a two-year-old bag and so far i've kept the vachetta pretty um pretty clean i spilled some coffee on it and i'll show you guys how that looks later on but yeah this is the never full mm tote so the way that i like to store my bags is like this so i keep the dust bag inside like i said just to hold its shape because it is a very lightweight material if i don't put any stuffing inside of it there's a tendency for the bag to sag and i don't want that so like i said here is what it looks, the long straps, and then inside, there's a clasp. And then this is what I keep inside to make sure that the shape or the bag retains its shape. So it's actually just the dust bag because sometimes when we are on a trip and I'm leaving all my bags here, I don't keep them on display. I put them in the dust bags with silica gels to prevent the moisture. And then inside the dust bag, I just have these air bags that i get from packages so i always save those and just put them inside my bags so another thing that i use to keep the bags shape and to keep it all organized because the neverfull is just one big pocket is a bag organizer this one is actually from amazon it came with a like a divider in the middle but i don't really use that so it has all of these little pockets just to keep everything organized and of course to maintain the shape of the bag. This is how the bag looks. So it does come with a pouch, the Neverfull pouch. A lot of people actually resell this but I find it very useful whenever I just have a large tote. Now, regardless if I'm using the Neverfull or not, I like to keep this in my bag. It fits my card holder, sunscreen, and alcohol 
just in case I need to run out and I don't want to bring my huge bag with me, this is what I like to use. I decided to keep it because like I said, it serves its function for me. So you can wear it as a wristlet and then you can also unclasp this and connect it with the zipper. That way the zipper is always closed, you know. The new version actually, you can clasp this strap and it's actually long enough to become like a shoulder bag a mini shoulder bag so one of the perks of buying the never full is you get a pouch inside which is very useful like i said and a lot of times louis vuitton pouches could be super expensive so i thought you know when i bought this i was getting a good deal for getting two items with one purchase and then this is what the inside looks like it's just one big hole with one zip pocket right here that you can you know maybe put some receipts anything important and that actually flaps out like that so as you can see it's a pretty big hole so it's easy to get this organized and lose a lot of your things so that's why i like keeping an organizer in it that way it also protects the lining because it is a very light lining and of course it keeps the bag organized and maintains its shape as well Another cool feature that I like about the Louis Vuitton Neverfull is that if you you don't need a huge bag and you're just running errands, what you can do is actually cinch the sides. So it comes with these straps right here. So you just cinch that, that, and then the other side. And there, you have a smaller tote for running errands. It's actually similar to the size of my chanel petite shopping tote which is what i like about this louis vuitton tote so sometimes when i'm running errands and i want a bigger bag so for the bag it's two years old the way it's holding up i honestly am very happy with it the corners are still looking good as new there's no cracking in the canvas you don't see any holes in the canvas nor is the print like wearing out the tendency for the damier azure print is that it becomes a little yellow tone as it ages because of the sun i'll show you guys a comparison this is my newest damier azure print and then this is what it looks like against the neverfull the neverfull actually still looks very good in terms of that then let me compare it with my speedy bandolier which is i think four four years old now and then like i said the neverfull is two years old you can see some slight differences in the color but i can definitely tell that the bandolier has a more like yellow tint to it after using my bags what i like to do is i wipe them down with a water wipe that way it gets rid of all of the dirt so it doesn't build up over time so yeah that is the louis vuitton neverfull like i said i love it because i can use it a million different ways for running errands with the side cinch in for work with my laptop and my ipad it can definitely fit in this and then again like i said for travel it's a nice carry on tote what i like to do is just put a larger canvas tote for whenever i'm going through security or for whenever i put it on the floor that way i can use this bag for a longer time and just protect it when i can but not baby it i'm not that crazy and then i also like using it as an overnight bag one change of clothes my toiletries my makeup and everything fits inside this bag so now i'm going to show you guys what fits inside this bag okay so now let's see what fits in the louis vuitton never full first off for work i like to bring my 15 inch laptop so as you can see it kind of deforms the bag a little bit but that's totally fine i'll show you guys what it looks like with a 13 inch laptop as well then of course I have my charger. Now I have my toiletry pouch with all my essentials. You guys have seen this before. And then I have my Agenda PM. And then I can also fit my iPad in here. Also comfortably fits a water bottle. I have a larger water, water bottle that fits in there as well. And then, of course, my phone and my wallet. And then, of course, my keys. So if I'm traveling, what I like to do is carry a smaller purse with essentials. So for this, I like my Aria belt bag. 
and that easily fits in on top as well and there and that's with a 15 inch laptop so now with the 13 inch laptop perfect there we go perfect for traveling so that is it for today's video. I hope that you learned something new today and I hope that if you are deciding on whether or not to purchase the Louis Vuitton Neverfull Tote, then I hope this video was able to help you with your decision. And yeah, that's it for today. Once again, it's Eunice. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!